guys! So, a few days ago I was browsing Pinterest, as you do, and I came across this image. It's an old picture of probably a little girl, but <laughs> I had to stop for a second because this looks so much like I used to look when I was a child. I posted the picture to my Instagram stories and I got so many messages, like a ridiculous amount of messages from people asking me to recreate the photo and I actually think that would be really really fun to do so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try and recreate this photo, see if I can do it. Hopefully I can you know, do a little bit of makeup here and there to make it look more similar but I'm gonna see how close I can get to this exact photo in my end results. Let's get started. I think I'm gonna start with makeup first. I'm gonna keep the makeup pretty minimal because obviously since it's a child she won't really be wearing much makeup at all. Um, any makeup probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna focus mostly on getting the shapes right. So anything that doesn't exactly look like me I'm gonna try and make it match a little bit better. And first thing I need to do for that I think is eyebrows because it does appear that her eyebrows grow uh, much like my natural eyebrows do, in fact. So a little bit more inwards, I guess. I do, I pluck my eyebrows, so my real eyebrows do actually grow there. Okay, so I'm gonna use a bit of eyebrow gel. I'm gonna keep the brows nice and straight. It's kind of hard to tell, um, looking at this image, how much of this I can recreate with makeup and how much of it is lighting. So I've think, for example, this little shade right above her eye. I'm pretty sure that's just pure lighting and I'm gonna need to recreate that with lighting as well and not with makeup. But maybe I could do just a little bit because I feel like lighting is gonna be really hard to manipulate. I think I am gonna help the lighting just a little bit by creating an extra shadow there. And then there's one thing that's kind of the biggest difference between her face and mine and that is that she has a little bit of a cleft chin, which I don't. So I'm gonna enhance that a little bit with some shading powder. But it doesn't have to be very pronounced, just a little bit. That's much better. Okay, the hair is gonna be much more work and much harder because that looks nothing like my hair. I'm guessing this is 10s or 20s by the hairstyle and the clothing that she's wearing it might be a little bit earlier but in any case to recreate this i need hair extensions and i need a lot of them <laughs> all right i think this is about the amount of hair i need i'm gonna need a curling iron for this i'm sure let's see it's a very deep side parting like that much maybe curls all around the front of her face so i think i'm gonna need to curl maybe this much. Okay, so I'm gonna try and find the tiniest curling iron I have and recreate those little frizzy ringlets. Alright, my hair is in tiny curls. I've given them a few minutes to cool down, so I'm gonna take them down, brush them out, and that should hopefully give me that frizzy, curly look. I feel like this is going in the right direction. I'm gonna try and kind of blend it into the rest of my hair as well. Okay, I feel like this is actually pretty close. Kind of push it forward a bit more, I think. It's kind of hard to tell whether it is a braid or a kind of ropey, twisty type of thing, but I'm guessing it's more like a rope twist. So I'm gonna carefully make a rope braid. Kind of make it look more worn in. Just gonna tug at the sides a little bit here. Okay, same thing on the other side. I feel like 
this is too big, so I'm gonna just pin that back a little bit. All right, I feel like this is as close as I'm gonna get. So now all I need is an outfit. I don't think I have anything that resembles that fabric that she's wearing. I'm gonna have a look, see what I can find. I feel like my best bet is probably something like this, just because it's a light and flowy material. Um, even though the cut is all wrong, I think if I drape this across my shoulders, it should be should be pretty good. So then I just need something that will act like a tube top of sorts. Something like this should work for the photo, I think. So now I just need to ask Robert to take the photo for me and do some editing. Oh, there are a few. I think I should make a few final touches to the makeup. That is concealing the birthmark and a little bit of a darker color on the lips. So let me just do that. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll through the results and see which is the best and I'm gonna try and keep in mind that that is a child and I'm a 26 year old woman so of course I look horrible <laughs> compared to her and my camera quality is better so yeah um, basically just looking for angle and things like that but I think we did pretty well I guess this is my result and I have to say I'm quite happy with it. You can see very clearly now that this is a child just because look how much bigger my body is <laughs> compared to the head but I am pretty happy with how close I've gotten to to that photo. I look completely ridiculous now but this was a really really fun challenge to do and I really enjoyed trying to recreate a photo. I've never done anything like this. It's a lot more difficult than you might think because the lighting has to be good, the angles have to be good and then there's a lot of kind of post-production that needs to all work out but yeah I am very happy with the results so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. It's something completely different on my channel but I thought it was really fun. So if you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!